three example questions. Uh, factorize the following expressions completely. Uh, so question one, two, and three. And I've just explained to you how you factorize by grouping. Yeah, but still, again, this sheet, a very important sheet, okay, because if you ask yourself these five questions every time in this order, factorizing uh, is so super easy and, and even fun. Trust me, it becomes fun. So, first of all, is there a common factor? I'm looking at all four terms. And when you get a little bit more experience when you're factorizing, you will notice, oh, if I have four terms, it will be grouping, because that's the one with four terms. Okay, grouping, look at the first two terms. What is the highest common factor there? It's a three, and inside my brackets then m plus n. I'm going a little bit quickly, because I've explained this in my previous video. Eh? I look at my second two terms, and eh, my second group, what is the highest common factor? A positive x. And inside my brackets, I should get m plus n, and do I? m plus n, yes I do, m plus n, that just fits, you see that? Then my final answer is, so m plus n times 3 plus x, yeah, so 3 plus x, finished. I check my work always, yeah, because I want to make sure I'm correct, so I expand my answer, and then I should get my question, m times 3, 3m, m times x, mx, n times 3, 3n, n times x, and x. Fantastic. Moving on. I think I'm first going to write it here. My first two terms, yeah, now I see some negative signs here, so be careful, please. Uh, an m, I only see an m, which is a common factor. So m, and inside my brackets then goes m minus 2r. That's an r, by the way, yeah? So I should get the same for my second group inside my brackets, yeah? Let me just write that down on a while, perhaps that is helpful. So n minus 2r, because what is this common factor here? An r and a 3, but you've got to take out the minus 3r. Why is that? Because if I take out, out minus 3r, yeah, uh, and then I can put n minus 2r inside my brackets. Does that make sense? Because let me just expand this quickly for you. Minus 3r times n is minus 3rn. And minus 3r times minus 2r is a positive 6r squared. Okay, and it's important, again, that you take out the minus 3r and not a positive 3r. Why? Because inside my brackets here needs to be the same as inside my brackets there for it to work, yeah, factorizing it by grouping. So my final answer, it is the same now, so n minus 2r, and then m minus 3r. Okay, finished. You can expand that yourself and check and see that you've uh, done it correctly. Last question, again a negative sign there, so be careful, another one there. What is the highest common factor? It is an x. In my brackets, x minus y. So careful, I want to get x minus y. So let me put that already. x minus y. So what is the common factor? What is the common factor I should take out for those second two terms? That will be a minus to them. Because inside my brackets, same as that previous question, needs to be the same as inside my brackets there for my first group. Let me just check that minus 2 times x is minus 2x. Minus 2 times minus y is a positive 2y. Yeah, that is correct. Okay, final step then. So those brackets are the same, x minus y. And my second set of brackets, x minus 2. Okay, I will expand this one for you just to show you that it's correct. X times X is X squared. X times minus 2, minus 2X, minus Y times X, minus YX, or minus XY, and minus Y times minus 2 is a positive 2Y. Good, so we have done grouping now. I have factoring by grouping, which is the second question you always ask yourself when you're asked to factorize an expression completely. Now we're moving on to the third question, which I call normal factoring, all right? Check my site, explainingmaths.com, uh, for more resources, and you can ask me a question if you have any, and like this video and share it with your friends if it was useful for you, okay? I'll see you later, next video, factoring.